Had the North Star decreed this fate? Yuria, once the woman of Kenshiro's heart. She, his friend and rival, both in battle and in love. With both of them now gone from his life, only Bat and Reen could offer Kenshiro solace. And through their countless battles together, he came to love them like family. Eventually, they encountered a village somehow flourishing amidst the chaos. But peril was not far off. The marauding Fang clan had the village in their sights. Kenshiro set out to eliminate the threat, his new allies in tow. Mamiya, the village leader who bore a striking resemblance to Yuria. Rei, a practitioner of Nanto Seiken, just as Shin was. Their paths crossed beneath the glimmering North Star. Well, I suppose I could find some use for you as a bodyguard for hire. Ray is my name. You do well to remember it. Chapter 3. The Stench of Death. Another innocent victim. The blood of another of our brethren has been spilt. But, come what may, we must go on fighting to keep this village safe. To do anything else would be to dishonor the dead. Whoa! We're with you, Lady Mamiya, until the very last. We'll do anything you ask, my lady. Now, my people, we prepare for battle! Two men will get the job done quicker than one. I'm going with you. I don't care what you two think. I am responsible for this village. And besides, someone has to make sure you won't run away. I'm coming. You'll die. I don't care. This place makes my skin crawl. We're already in their territory. Stay alert. You use Hokuto Shinken? Who are those two? They're no ordinary bodyguards. My body's tearing up! An eye for an eye! and punishment Bring enough for the likes of you. you. Ray, what is it that drives you to fight? Years ago, my sister was taken from me. All I know about the man who did it is that he had seven scars on his chest. For my sister Ailey, I must go on. I cannot rest until that man is dead. <laughs> Slaughter every last one of them! It's all over! Which we live. 
It looks like you won't understand until you die. Finally, we can return to the village. Thank you. Ken, Mamiya and I will look for their hideout. We'll meet up with you later.
alone isn't punishment enough for the likes of you. What's the matter? Scared? Turn your back, would you? Then I'll just have to rip it too! Hell isn't punishment enough for the likes of you. Understand until you die. Get him, brother! Oh, no, no. <laughs> You're going nowhere! A true savior.
what you did to us? little sister is mine to do whatever I want with just don't kill Irie please if you swear not to hurt her I'll do anything really in that case that man of Hokuto kill him Ananto are as two sides of the same coin. If they fight, neither will win. <laughs> I'm a damn genius! Forgive me, Candy. <laughs> something special if you wish to defeat me I know that stance the secret Hokuto stance of Sekyokurin you know the name of it then you must know what it means <laughs> no 
Kanto, Kohariu! Hokuto, Ryugekiko! Neither can win. <laughs> Just as I planned. Looks like I was far too smart for the both of you. <laughs> Ray! Boss! It's okay! They're dead for sure! They ain't got no poles! Ha! <laughs> or nothing! <laughs> They're yours! Chop them into little pieces! And avenge your fallen brothers! <laughs> All right, my sons! To finish! You can kill this worthless woman! Boss! They... They... The Seikyo Green Stance was a secret signal. To press each other's vital points and simulate death, you were destined to lose before you even started. Go, my sons! Tear him apart! Buy me some time! Discovered that I had seven scars on my chest. Huh. Even if you yourself told me you were the one who kidnapped Airi, I wouldn't believe it. I know that much about you. Hell is 
isn't punishment enough for the likes of you. Turn your back, would you? <laughs> then I'll just have to rip it in two! Life is a privilege, and you don't deserve it. <laughs> Crush him! <laughs> Crush him! You're wasting your time with those puny little fists.
dead. <laughs> 